Hi everyone, this is Marianne and welcome to my channel. A couple of days ago, I uploaded a video short on my channel about a disc-bound flip book that I made using 3x5 index cards. Today in this video, I will share how I made it, which you can consider as a little tutorial that you can follow. I have these extra discs that I considered using. Here are some uh, clear plastic discs that are 24 millimeters, and here are the 18 millimeter plastic di discs. And then here are the super clear plastic discs that I think look very, very pretty, which I used to make this A5 notebook right here. I also have a video on my channel showing how I made this notebook, and I will link down below. And the index cards that I will be using is this one pack of 3x5 index cards right here. It is the Green Apple brand and this pack has 100 pieces. This wasn't available in any local store in my city so I had to purchase this online. I will leave a link in the description box. Take note that I am in the Philippines and the shopping app that I use is called Shopee and it's only available in Asia, I believe. I've been using index cards a lot lately. I have also purchased this pack of 3x5 index cards and the brand is Corona. I use these ones, the Corona 3x5 ones, to carry ideas for my novel in progress. I have a video short about that which I will link down below. And these 4x6 index cards I use for my story arc for the same novel in progress. Anyway, I believe I have enough extra 3x5 index cards to make a little notebook that I can bind with discs. So I took these extra scraps of that old clear book cover that I once tore down to make a cover for an A5 slim sized commonplace notebook. I will link that video of the commonplace notebook down below. The next thing I did was to make a stopper for my happy planner punch. I have it here in the classic size and I'm sorry that for some reason my camera is taking a blurred video of this part but I had to find the exact center of the index card so that the hole punching for the disc bound will be exactly centered on the index card. So I folded the index card in half and marked a line down the center fold and lined up that line with the center of one of the hole punches on the whole punch as you can see. I hope you can get the idea even if the video is blurred. I am very sorry about that. And then I made a little square made of a few layers of extra index card material glued together. I cut it down straight to make a little square and then I glued it straight onto the hole puncher right where the index cards should be placed when I hole punch them later. And later on I will show you how it works. But for now, I have to set this one aside to dry completely. And now for the covers, I have decided to make them 1 8 of an inch wider on three sides. Um, and the fourth side will be the side where the hole punching is going to go. So there doesn't need to be any excess on that side. To cut these down to the right size, I just used a pencil to make a tiny mark on the plastic and then I used a metal ruler and a box cutter to make the final cut. And here are the covers for the notebook, one for the front and one for the back. And now it's time to do the hole punching because at this point that stopper that I made earlier has already completely dried. And I used a marker to write down 3 by 5 on it to remind myself that that is the stopper to hole punch 3 by 5 index cards. And then from here on out, it's just a matter of hole punching all of the index cards in the pack. What I plan to use this notebook for is to write down my ideas that float around in my head almost all the time. There are quite a lot of them constantly flying around in my mind and sometimes it gets disturbing and distracting and I cannot pay attention and I find that writing them down helps ease the mental disturbance and also for practical reasons it allows me to use the ideas for my other creative projects. 
I have made a disc bound A5 slim notebook for this. Like I said, it was uh, the commonplace notebook, but in my experience, that was too big. My ideas are usually just three lines long, and I write down one idea on each page, just one on each page, so that A5 slim notebook is too big. This 3x5 could be a better size for what I need this notebook to do. And by the way, it's important for the hole punching to be in the perfect center so that in case you want to flip a page like this, the cards will still line up like so. Now that all of the index cards are hole punched, it is now time to decide on what discs to use. The entire stack is a little less than 2 centimeters thick and I don't want to use these plastic discs that I have because they're not good quality. Uh, these ones here, these large ones, are my Happy Planner Expander Metal Discs in the rainbow colors. I really like these. These have served me so, so well for several months, but they are too big. These are 1.75 inches in diameter. However, these here are the 24 millimeter metal discs, which I think is the best choice to use for this little notebook. Now I have three different colors here in the 24 millimeter size. I can use two rose gold and one black, one rose gold and two black, and I can also go rose gold, black, rose gold like this, or black, rose gold, black like this. But that doesn't look as pretty as three hot pink metal discs. This would be my very first time to use these hot pink metal discs, which to my eyes look more like magenta because it has a purple undertone. I don't usually go for loud colors, but it's a tiny little notebook. It would be nice to have some splash of color for this one. So, okay, now I need to hole punch the plastic covers that I just cut down to size earlier. And to do that, I need to make a hole punching template, which is just one index card hole punched onto opposite edges. And then I just line it up, line up the template with the plastic cover, hold the two together using a binder clip so that they will not slip, and then make the holes using a single hole punch and a pair of scissors. This has always been how I hole punched plastic sheets for the disc bound system because the Happy Planner Punch, at least this one that I have, cannot punch plastic. I did it before, I tried it before and it jammed and it was terrible and I never did that again. And so that's one cover done and then here is the other. And now finally we can put everything together with the magenta metal discs. And then I realized that I had forgotten to snip off a tiny bit out of each cover. I always do this for plastic covers and laminated covers just so they do not poke me. I prefer right angled corners over rounded corners. That's just a personal preference. As for the writing tool, I am going to use this Pilot Birdie mechanical pencil. And I have this extra elastic pen loop in black. And I just decided on the proper placements of everything and then removed the backing sheet behind the pen loop and then pressed it down to secure it. And then I decided to have an artwork for the cover because I needed something that will match the magenta or the hot pink discs. The minimalist look of the white semi-transparent cover doesn't really match, doesn't go with the discs, and neither did the black pen loop. The, the pen loop doesn't match the cover. So I found this photo on Unsplash. I will link this specific photo in the description box. I resized the file to be a little larger than three by five inches and printed two of the images on one sheet of photo paper. And then I cut the excess photo paper off and then laminated the photos. And then after I cut the material down to the proper size, which is three by five, I hole punched them using the same method that I used for the plastic covers that I showed earlier. Uh, it's just the same method. And then finally, here is the finished notebook. 
Let me just share a little bit more about this pencil. This is an all metal Pilot Birdie mechanical pencil and this carries 0.5 millimeter leads. It does have a ballpoint pen version which I currently have on my disc bound wallet right here. I have a video about how I made this disc bound wallet on my channel and I will link it down below. This disc bound wallet has credit card sleeves that I made out of tracing paper and lamination. Please check out that video. I'm sure you're going to like it. And I also have a review of this ballpoint pen, the Pilot Birdie ballpoint, which I will link down below as well. When it comes to my daily planner, this one right here, I am using this Tombow Monograph Mechanical Pencil in the classic Tombow Stripe color, and it's on this black elastic pen loop. The pen loop here used to be white, but I replaced it with a black one because it goes better with the black metal discs. I have a video about how I set up this planner in my channel and also a video review of the Tombow Mechanical Pencil. Both videos will be linked down below. At this point, while I was playing around with handling the notebook, I realized that it looks a lot like a flip book. So that is what I have decided to call it from now on. I can write on this vertically or horizontally, depending on which is more convenient for me and depending on which is more appropriate for what I am writing. And I can literally flip through it when I want to look for an idea or just randomly pick one for some reason. I think this notebook is so <laughs> adorable if I say so myself. And this is what I will use now to write down my ideas in. No longer the A5 Slim disc bound commonplace notebook. That one is really too big for me. This one is more handy. But let's see. And that is how I made a disc bound flip book using 3x5 index cards. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you got some ideas from here. Thanks for watching. Bye.